All right, what's going on guys? I've got a fun build lined up. I'm gonna be making a knife for a firefighter auction. My brother asked me to do this. He's a firefighter in Washington State. He sent me a bunch of materials from the firehouse that they had laying around, some old suits, some fire hose, stuff like that. So I'm gonna see how much of this I can incorporate into a build, and we're gonna hopefully come up with something unique and cool for this auction. So let's get to it. So I've got this annealed. I let it cool slowly overnight in the forge, crank the forge up to about 1800 degrees, then shut it off, put the knife in, close the doors and let it cool overnight. Uh, that's going to anneal the steel and get this in its softest state so that doing some hand file work here on this transition from the tang into the ricasso, it'll be easier. I'm going to use a, a file guide so I get a nice crispy line here. I'm almost out of room here. I probably would have, I, you know, this got a little bit wonky, but it looks like I still have enough room to make a line here and not creep in on the, the logo too much. So we'll get to work on that and then get it heat treated. I just want to get a sense of, I ground these bevels in to a 60 grit belt and I just want to get a sense of how hard this is. Um, this is a uh, 45 Rockwell and kind of scratches the surface but definitely doesn't cut into the steel. Here's a 50. Definitely skates that still. 
to 55. Still skates to 55. So the 60 probably will start to dig in here. Yeah, so I can see that this is just barely starting to cut in. So I would guess this probably is somewhere around 57, 57, 58 maybe.
All right, that's gonna wrap up the build for this video. This knife is gonna be part of a silent auction at an upcoming firefighter conference, and they're raising money for an organization called Keep and Safe, and they provide PTSD treatment resources to uh, first responders like EMTs, firefighters, police officers, and one of the places that they send them to is the Deer Hollow Treatment Center. So I'll put links to all of those organizations in the video description, you can go check them out. Hopefully this knife brings in some money to provide some help for those people because I really appreciate all the work that they do. If you're interested in having a custom knife made, you can reach out through the contact form on my website, davidmoonforge.com. Also, if you like the videos that I make, you can pick, your, pick yourself up some swag. I've got these embroidered hoodies. I've got some print hoodies and t-shirts and even some hats. So uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next build. Thanks for watching.